were struggling. Just the presenter light is in the way there. But now you can see that beautiful iridescence that they have and that bright orange eye. My favorite, the Cape Glossy Starling. Listen to everyone. Oh, huge disputes this morning. So that's them and then there's, there's a go away bird but it's flying away now. There's an Egyptian goose that's just taken to the water. Going for its morning swim. Where's your partner? Unusual to see just one Egyptian goose on its own. They're normally always together. There you go. Got its head down. Looks like it's going to start feeding for the day. Now that can't be particularly deep there. I'm sure its its webbed feet must be touching the mud. Now I would not want to swim around in that because if anything touches my feet when I'm in the water, I'm out. I run. I leap. It almost looks like I could fly. I get out of that water so quickly. I'm not having any of it. Sebastian's laughing at me. It's the truth. You must see if seaweed touches me on the beach. You would swear that there was a shark. <laughs> and I probably would frighten everybody because I'd over overreact and shout, sh shark, shark, and make everybody panic. And everyone would race out of the water and it would just be a piece of seaweed. And I could have ruined everybody's holiday. I feel like I that would happen one day. I think I maybe have done this already. Maybe I'm just recalling a memory. I don't know if you can see, oh, is it a wagtail? No, yes it is. There's a pied wagtail that we've got there. There it is. Yes. Hello. That's another little one. We don't often get to see the wagtails. We do see them around the, at Chitwa Dam. There's a pair of them that live on the Middle Island. And they spend quite a bit of time there. Uh, the, and the blacksmith lapwings this morning, the reason why they're making such a noise is because they're chasing every single bird that dare comes down to drink at Voyotilla Dam. They're chasing it away. They're not happy with anybody today. You can see that they're flying from one end of the dam to the other and then across the wall. You're not going to chase me away at that, I can tell you. There's the other one just flying off the screen. Look at them. Let's see what happens. They're now just on the top of the dam wall. There's three of them. Are we going to have a standoff this morning? Well, I suppose they are having a standoff. That's what they're doing. They're just standing. Very, very noisy. Oh, thought they were going to gang up on one. Yes, yeah, see? I don't seem to this one that's calling. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts of things going on over here. So that's what's so great about being on a safari. Sometimes you don't actually have to go anywhere. You can just sit at one spot and take a break and have a look at the birds. And sometimes the animals come to you. Isn't that right, Mr. Turtle Dove? He's got a beautiful voice. Megan, Megan, am I still live? Or am I just having conversations all on my own? <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just double, triple, quadruple checking. Because I've had, I've had this before. Sometimes you, you, know, you might have a bit of interference and they've had to crash cut away for you, but I haven't had comms. And I think the longest I've continued presenting for was mm, I think about 20 minutes. And then I think it was Rebecca and Chris. They saw me and they saw me moving my hands around more than what I normally do. And they said, Taylor must still think that she's live. I think it was on Cheetah Plains, <laughs> which was quite funny. And then they managed to send me a message and that got across to me. Can you smell all that fuel? I don't know if we're leaking fuel again, but I can smell it quite heavily. Mmm, delicious. It's very nice. We have to move forward a bit. Why, Megan? Why must... You can't see me. Can you see me now? How about now? And now? <laughs> and now I'm going to be like an annoying child in the back of the car. Are we there yet? But now we need to... Okay, wait. Megan, you're going to watch me re reverse. Now I'm going to carry on talking because I'm going to come back past and Sebastian and I are going to do a drive-by and we're going to blow kisses. Are you ready? And wave like a queen. But Sebastian, let's not drive off the edge of the damn wall because everyone's watching us now. <laughs> okay. Right. Are you ready? We're going to wave first and then blow kisses. Okay. 